Hey Libras, welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your August 1st through 15th reading here for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, the messages aren't for you. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for your first half of the month and definitely for your Leo New Moon reading. Um, that is time stamp, so you can check that out anytime. You can just kind of go to where your Moon, Rising, and Venus are. Sorry, my hair is crazy. It's humid and I just showered, so... We'll see how this mane um, dries because it's different every day. <laughs> so, Libras. As I read this, you know, it's the third. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them all out before the first like I wanted. It's been kind of a rough week medically for me. So, I've kind of had to take things a little bit slower. Um, but as you guys know, it's been kind of a fiery start to August. On the 31st, we had that Leo New Moon. That was big energy there. A lot of sensitive, affectionate, loving energy, but also an intensely freedom-seeking, unpredictable, kind of a pivot, a pivot point type of new moon because things can just shift, change. You might decide to just change your decision. You might decide to change direction. You might, because of all this unexpected energy and unexpected changes, there's feelings of uncertainty, there's anxiety and stress, but... I think that you guys might have seen things in a different perspective than you did before. I think a lot of it has to do with getting back into your, into you, into your energy, coming back into alignment with yourself. Because I feel, Libra, we've been feeling almost lost in that aspect for a while. And I think that you guys are starting to feel a lot more you again, if that makes sense. We'll see how the cards come out here. And we'll talk about the astrology throughout the reading, but the beginning of the month definitely sees a lot of forward direction here with Leo energy. On the 11th, we have Jupiter going direct in Sagittarius, which just brings it up a whole nother level because that same day, we also have Mercury entering Leo. So there's a lot of forward motion in terms of adventure, in terms of expansive energy, expanding our surroundings, expanding our life. So, um... Let's see how this is affecting you. Let's get a card for your general energy, August 1st through 15th here. We're using the Gustav Klimt deck, and we'll see how that one goes. All right, sorry guys, I had to put up my hair. It's just getting too hot and <laughs> getting crazy, so whatever. We're just going to live with it, okay? No matter how psycho it looks. Um, <laughs> let's see. So what's your energy this month, Libra? August 1st through 15th. What's our energy? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, I just feel like there's kind of a reawakening. Knight of Chalices. Yeah, we have new offers, new options. Um, we might have a water sign that is new in our life here. That's also very prevalent for some of you. Um, also, just like new... There's just a lot of affectionate, romantic feelings going on with you, but... I like this. The Knight of Chalices usually has a message of love, a message that is wonderful, a message that kind of heals us, makes us feel better, that comes across very romantically, very poetic. So we could be having some wonderful offers, people saying nice things about us. Um, just a lot of nice words to be said and to be heard and to be felt, really, at the beginning of this month here. So we're looking to restore relationships. We're looking to restore our love and faith in things and in relationships at this time, um, whether it be romantic, family, friends. It could be all of it. We're just looking to bring a sense of healing and reawakening to our heart here, honestly. So if we've been fo heavily focused on money, career, moving up, which I think that you guys have been if we've been, if we talked about the readings that we've been getting for you, um... This is a very different feeling. This is kind of a switch up here. Again, a pivot. Um, that Venus and Leo squaring Uranus and Taurus and the new moon squaring Uranus and Taurus on that new moon. I think um, we might still be feeling that kind of energy here in terms of unpredictable changes, yet wanting to bring a sense of a loving, affectionate, extremely um, eager to please and connect with others type of energy here. And I think that that's really where you guys are at here. Um... So, watch out for expecting luxurious results with passive energy and passive efforts. 
if you want something, you're going to have to go out and get it. You're going to have to make the efforts here, especially in terms of love. This is kind of about how you guys are putting yourself out there and connecting with others, I feel. So let's continue to see what's in your environment. Um, what's in your environment? What's in your surroundings right now, Libra? The moon. A lot of moon energy. Again, there could be a Pisces. There really could be a Pisces in your life here. When I see the Knight of Chalices, which is often a card that I associate with Pisces, with um, the moon here, there's a lot of Piscean energy. However, the moon also talks about our internal fears, um, areas where we felt anxious, worried, um, a lot of anxiety has come up. It's those deep-seated feelings, that stuff that's coming up within us here. Um, that voice that tells you maybe you should be worried about this. Maybe this isn't going to work out for the best. Maybe you should give up. Um, the moon brings up a lot of those weird feelings, a lot of strange, uncomfortable emotions and um, discomfort to really be dealt with. When I do see it upright, yeah, we might be feeling kind of in a time of metamorphosis. This is a very, this is a very emotionally shifting time for you guys in your energy there's a lot of weird things i think coming around kicking about here there's also again a deeper need here i think for you guys especially to connect on a deeper emotional level to get back into that way that i feel like some of you guys were like oh, i used to connect like this with people a while ago you know what happened to me where have i been i, I need to step back into that energy maybe i can't what if i've changed and i can't be that libra anymore that libra that everybody you know associates me with Maybe I'm not that person anymore. Um, so you're kind of desiring to get back into a specific type of energy, get into a specific type of socially or emotionally interactive energy here that you probably haven't been in for a while that feels familiar to you. So let's see. Situations, people. Actually, let me talk about this situation coming in a little bit. Let's talk about how, the, you know, these feelings here. Instead of just trying to go by the way we always go. So your emotions feel a bit rocky here. But not bad. Just we're seeking something. We need something. We have a desire to reach back into... It's like we're trying to reach for something and we can't quite get it. And it's within us, it feels... Yeah, judgment. I knew this one was going to come up. Judgment here. Bring out your dead. Bring out the parts of you that no longer serve you. Your um, attitudes, beliefs, people, situations. What is dead in your life that needs to be shifted here? As you can see, there's all these people kind of in these different states of uncomfort and grabbing and weirdness and change. And then we have a skeleton up there. So it's really bringing the dead out of your closet, stretching yourself out, releasing that tension, releasing the parts of you that really aren't bringing you anything but tension and problems here. And, you know, it asks us to change. We're at a point of change here, at a point of shifting. Also, when I see judgment, we're having something come back from the past. I usually see this as this is an issue, a situation that's been here before. It's coming back around so that we can fully release it, so that we can deal with it on a better, in a better way at this time than we did before. So if we've been trying to move towards this energy of getting back in touch with ourselves, getting back into an energy that we feel comfortable in, that we feel like us in, and I feel like for a lot of you, that's what the focus here is. And this is a great time to do so. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of deep growth when you see the moon and the judgment card together. We've been in, again, a state of metamorphosis. The universe has asked us to change, to shift, and to really look at our life in what do we need, who do we need, and what is really no longer serving us, with, especially in terms of beliefs, people, um, energies that we're keeping around us. It's time to be very honest with ourselves and to be open to this change. We need to be open to change, open to shifts here. knew it okay five pentacles reverse so yeah this is all putting you guys in a position of getting yeah again reconnecting with ourselves if we have felt spiritually disconnected if we have been in a place where again we haven't felt like ourselves it doesn't have to be spiritual it can just be even our love for ourselves. getting back into a certain type of social almost personality you know who were we who did people see us as 
and you guys know who that Libra was. And again, I just feel like it's it's coming back into yourself here, realigning um, after a period of what feels like things were rocky and weird and you didn't feel like yourself and emotions and, you know, um, decisions were made that really didn't feel like you, even though you were making them, acting them out, playing this part. And you're like, this isn't me. I don't feel like me. How do I get back to that? Five of Pentacles reverse. You're coming back into something. You're, you're, it's this is kind of a step out of that period of isolation, of feeling at a loss, of feeling desolate, alone. Um, again, if you felt spiritually impoverished, this is kind of a reawakening of spirit. But we have to go within and realize that this process. So again, if this is a spiritual message, if this is relating to spirit for you, this is a very deep. Um, period of growth for you in terms of spirituality this is finding you know what's comfortable for you and realizing that it's not just you know reading a book and then following that path but it's got to come from within it's a type of spirituality and metamorphosis here on that subject that allows you to find what works for you what's comfortable for you what makes sense to you and what works for you um and for everybody that's going to be different like I don't I don't care what you believe about spirituality but like everybody has their own type of relationship with it. I don't believe that there's any set pathway or specific thing that you should be doing to get more spiritual. I think I always suggest meditating because I think that that opens you up to your higher self and opens you up to um, realigning with your higher self to know what works for you, to know what is best for you. So if that's what you want to do this month, this is a great time to do that. It's a great time to explore spirituality, explore our internal depths and look at what we're needing, what we're wanting, um, what we're wanting to realign with. And again, I feel a lot of it has to do with realigning back into an energy that you feel is most you. You want to feel like you again. And you want to feel more spiritually deepened. That's, that's a really weird way to put it but um yeah the hermit reverse we haven't been taking the time out to go within we haven't been doing what has been necessary for that when i see the hermit reversed it's asking you to really go within here to take a step back to take time for yourself if you are trying to pack on a ton of social things going on in your calendar if you're trying to do this do that it's time to take a step back and not go out so much not ask everybody else what their opinions are on you and what you think what you know what they think you should be doing this is about going within and nobody else can tell you how to do this nobody else can tell you who you are and how to realign back with yourself this is your own journey here and if you're expecting somebody else or a youtube video to explain to you how to do it it's going to be different for all of you sorry it's like you need to go within you have to experience and connect with your higher self with these energies here you have to figure out how you realign with yourself. And I can't tell you how to do that. And I don't think anybody can. Um, but I think that by taking a step back from your daily life, from your daily responsibilities, from whatever, you know, again, all those social interactions that always seem to come up on those nights when you're trying to reconnect, all those little extra job things that you don't need to take, but you keep taking because you like to keep busy and you want to keep on the ball and you are, this is what people expect of you. Stop doing what people expect of you and start doing what you should expect of you. What feels right to you. What feels good to you. Sometimes taking less work is actually more profitable in the end. I've learned that and it's been a difficult, as an earth sign, that's not been the easiest thing to learn is that sometimes it's not all about what's in your bank account at the end of the day, but what you're building for the future and how it makes you feel. How do you feel when you're working? How do you feel when you're doing all this stuff? Do you feel like you, if you're feeling out of alignment, it's time to look at that situation from a different perspective. All right. Little events, situations. I saw the Nine of Pentacles pop out reversed a little bit. We'll see if she comes out again. But to me, that also talks about Needing to be less materially focused. Don't be so materially focused. You're fine. You're doing okay. It's going to be okay. Stop pushing so hard in that area. You've pushed enough, okay? So just like relax, all right? You need to take some time. You need to go out, maybe go on an adventure, go on a vacation. Do something that realigns you with who you are, what makes you truly happy, that isn't work. <laughs> all right? Three of Cups. What's coming into your life here? Opportunity situations. It's having a good time. Please take, please take that. Okay, go have a good time. Go out with your friends. Go on an adventure. Um, experience, you know, camaraderie again. Get back in touch with your girls if you're a female, even if you're a male. There's a lot of 
feminine energy and reconnecting there that I always see with that three of cups. And I have to say, I always, I do like it in this situation. Celebrate where you've come from. Celebrate how much you've grown. Celebrate where you're at and stop thinking about, well, I'm not at that next step yet. Stop that. Celebrate where you're at now. You should be celebrating every step of the way or else you're not really appreciating yourself. You're not appreciating your own work here. It feels like you guys are just trying to climb, climb, climb up this ladder. And what you got to do is stop, take a break and reevaluate, you know, appreciate yourself, celebrate how far you've come. Allow the people around you to be like, hey, Libra, you're doing awesome. Just take the compliment, take the compliment, take the break, go out. Um, go on a vacation, have some fun, make sure to have fun in this first half of the month here and taking time out. I feel like you really need to destructure your life and a lot more here in August. Leo season is asking you to focus on you. I mean, are we surprised that Leo season asks us to focus on ourselves? But, um... You really need to. You haven't been. And you haven't been doing it. Even though you're like, I'm sure that some of you guys are like, yes, I have. Okay, well, have you been focusing on the career aspect, the money aspect, the job aspect? Yeah, okay, but that's not focusing on you. That's focusing on, you know, how other people see you and what you're bringing to the table. And am I professional enough? Am I, do I have enough money? This isn't focusing on a deeper part of you, on what really, you need to come back into alignment because you're out of alignment here. We need to have more love for ourselves and stop worrying so much. And stop trying to climb that ladder. You know, stop it. It's coming. It'll all come on its own. Stop goddamn worrying about it. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's going to be fine, Libras. I promise you I have it. I feel it in my heart. If you guys have been waiting for a raise or something, just please wait it out and stop pushing. <laughs> please. Um, all right. Let's see. Any other messages here for August 1st through 15th? Another general message. Two of Cups. Wow. And Ace of Pentacles reverse came out. Interesting. Um, we'll segue this over into love because immediately I feel like there's love here. But also, if you are feeling a lack of grounding, a lack of security, stability, or really just anything substantial within a relationship, whether it's friendship, love, work, if you're not feeling appreciated or if you feel like, you know, you're coming here with your full cup and you love this and this person is repaying you back or the situation's paying you back, like literally money and they're not giving you enough in terms of work, we could be feeling very uncomfortable about that. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that because this is interesting that these both come out here at the end. You know what? No, I don't want to pull a clarifier. I think I get it. Sometimes that third party is money. Sometimes that third party is how we don't feel secure in that aspect. And we don't realize that we've manifested a person into a relationship. Even, you know, again, this is if you're in a relationship, if you, even in your friendships, like doesn't have to be love, but it's like money is getting in the way of true connection here. And you need, you know, in your ability to focus on it, your obsession with trying to get to that next step and having people look at you a certain way and seeing that, you know, your successfulness, everybody knows you're successful, Libra, it's okay. Stop worrying about it. Start, you know, drop that other person because that other person is greed and a need for more, more, more. We need to sit where we are and appreciate and love what we've been, what we've been given here to appreciate where we're at here. Take that third party out of a relationship, that third party is money it's greed and it's that desire that kind of other people are not going to be comfortable with hearing about it this month because you're fine and everyone's going to be like stop complaining libra like you're doing the best out of all of us like shut up um so remember that you know it's time to celebrate what you've created instead of getting frustrated at where it's not exactly where you want it to be okay let it go this month allow it to come in on its own timing and stop focusing so hard on it this is a month about emotions about realigning with yourself and not letting the need for greed and for um to keep, you know, that need to keep up with the Joneses. What is the word I'm looking for? It's like a material security, a material obsession. You know, I want success and I want everybody to see how successful I am. You're successful. We all know it. So just like, let it go for now. Um, it'll come in at a different time, whatever you're waiting for, it's coming, but you have to be more patient and you have to stop being so stressed about it. Okay. Um, let's get some love cards. Oops, I almost just lost all those cards. I always try to take a picture for the video at the end so you guys can see it up in the corner. Sometimes I throw them back in on accident and then I have to go through and find them all. <laughs> um, all right, love and romance energy for Libras. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I feel, as an air sign, if you have any placements in Aquarius with that full moon in Aquarius, 
that's coming up on the 15th. It's going to be a lot of, um, the emotional side of things and it's going to be easier, easier for us to really discern and understand any feelings, emotions that have felt really complicated. Um, the, our relationship with our emotions that has seemed complicated. It's going to be a lot easier for us to free ourselves up from these negative, from especially negative emotions like jealousy, um, inadequacy, all of that. So let's see. Love and romance energy, August 1st through 15th for you guys. I think that that one's going to be very emotion heavy for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, love and romance. Oh, it's coming out. Hero font reversed. We need to stop thinking about the, the uh, <laughs> Mercury is on its way out. And you guys should know that I can't English when Mercury is retrograde. The hero font. Um, I've seen other readers kind of flub up to um, Universal Intuition, Gemstone Tarot. So I know it's not just me. Um, the hero font reverse, though, is about needing to eschew the traditional. If you are waiting, especially if you guys are like, is this person going to ask me to marry them? Are they going to lock me down? Are we moving in together? What's happening here? I want this like storyline and I see it this way. And it should be this traditional aspect. And this is what I was told growing up. And this is what I believe now. That's great. That's Listen, Libra, that's so great that you have an idea and that you have your storybook romance that you've planned out and that you think it should be this way. But that's just not how life works. And you need to stop um, expecting that. Don't expect somebody to have the same views of love, relationships, marriage as you all the time. People are allowed to change, especially now that Uranus is in Taurus. There's a lot of shifting in that area. Uh, what do I really want? Do I see myself getting married? I thought I was always going to have this big wedding and I was going to end up with this person. And I saw myself with this person and we're going to get married and everything's going to be great. It's like, no, not all the time. And you need to have a more open perspective here. We need to let go of the traditional and allow things to shift because Uranus is in Taurus and this energy that is usually like this is like this now. So it's not like that anymore. We're having a shakeup because in a lot of ways, those traditional aspects, those things that we want, those things that we think that we want, that we're told to want at certain ages, that we should have at certain ages, it's not, that's just not the way life is. And we can drive ourselves crazy trying to fit ourselves into a box that doesn't fit everybody, okay? It's like one of those one sizes fits all shirts or a dress. That's not going to fit everybody. I mean, I've tried things like that. I'm really small, so a lot of times, like, a one size fits all dress will probably go down to my ankles. Know that. Like, that's just how life is. That's how, you know, we are told growing up, you know, you should be married at this age, have a kid at this age, life should be secure at this age, you have a job that you stick with for the rest of your life, and this is how it goes. And then when you have time, you have kids, and, like, you need to let that whole storyline go. Because that's not how this is working out here. And that's really, I think, what this Leo new moon in the beginning of the month and then the Aquarius full moon is going to solidify for you. That the traditional is gone. There is no traditional. And whether it's like you or your parents or whoever believes that it should be this specific way, you're like, no, you're right. It's not this way. And I think I need to let that go here. Um... I might feel frustrated because we don't have the key because we're trying. Yeah, this is like, again, you guys are Venus ruled. Um, Taurus is also Venus ruled. So, and that's a ton of a Taurus card there. It's literally saying we're going to knock up what, <laughs> knock up. we're going to knock out here what has been so solid, stable, something that we've been holding on to desperately, you know, like, I want this and I'm going to get this and this person in this relationship is going to give this to me. So if you're like a female Libra that's like, all right, we've been together 4.5 years, time for the proposal. And you could be sitting there waiting for that. And that's probably, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's coming because this is not, you just have to accept that. This is not the same, and things are not the same. They're not preserved in the same way anymore. And it's not like they don't love you and that the situation can't be just as good, but you have to look at it from a different perspective instead of, you know, desperately trying to cling on to your four pentacles that you've had for what, again, like four years or so? <laughs> um, why are these coming out like this? I'm not happy with this now. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Reverse. This feels, I gotta be honest with you guys, yeah, maybe it's different for a different person and we'll see, but um, 
the storyline I'm getting is just like if you guys were expecting a proposal and moving in all this stuff to work out everything to be perfect and you know okay now we're gonna move into our new place and then we're gonna get married and then we're gonna have a kid and all this stuff's gonna work out and here's my timeline no again guys like you need to let go of the storyline I think that what is this um who else got this I think it might have been Virgo that kind of had like be open to, or I think it might have been actually Capricorn be open to a new storyline be open to a new storyline. Be open to a brand new story. Be open to creating your own story instead of living out your parents or your grandparents or, you know, whatever the world has set in place for you's dreams and, you know, whatever they believe is right for you. Um, there's so many things that I think, you know, there's traditional expectations that are here now, even in 2019. I almost said 2018. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. Um, but that's gone there's no more traditionality it's time to open ourselves up and if we keep focusing and keep trying so hard to hold on to these four pentacles look at what it does to us it allow it takes us it takes away that ace of pentacles it takes away the six of wands you're already um you know condemning a situation saying goodbye to something because it's not exactly you know what you expected you're not giving it a chance to really show that it has legs and that just because you know there's no ring on the finger or there's no you know traditional aspect to this that it can't succeed so let's get a card of advice for you. I think that this is what we need here for love. Advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love. So guys, don't allow this kind of stuff to get in the way. You've got to let go of those four pentacles. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it sucks. But you know what? i got to say, it's just hella liberating when you just stop um, living your life to the expectations of what the world has put in front of you, of what society has put in front of you. Really, there's societal expectations here that you've ingrained into yourself. <laughs> and you got to let it go. Four of Wands reverse. You're out of alignment. You need to realign with what your um, dream situation is here. I don't think it's the same as what you've been telling yourself. When I see a four a pentacles upright, four of wands reversed, we're holding on to something that's keeping us out of alignment. And that's really what the story here is, I gotta be honest. Um, and I wish it was easier. I wish that spirit didn't, like, give me hard messages while it gives other readers, like, cute messages. <laughs> but um, I guess this is what we've been tasked with here. I always connect with higher self and spirit and do these readings as a way to help you grow into your most fulfilling path, your highest self, to connect more with that energy and to live your highest life forward. Your, you know, live on your highest path here. I feel like I always say that wrong. <laughs> but let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Keep on doing what you're doing. Work at this. I know it's uncomfortable and I know that we're feeling out of alignment. We know this. We can see this. Look at the way he's looking at these four of pent uh, sorry, these four wands here. He's not happy with the way things have been. He's frustrated. Things have not been exactly how he's wanted them. And this is saying that you need to keep on going. You gotta work on this on your own. There's only one person in this picture. Seven of Pentacles says to keep on working. Yeah, things might not be as satisfying, but it's time to tackle those feelings. Really look at it. Really look at where we're not aligned and why it's bringing dissatisfaction, um, disharmony into what we are perceiving as our relationship here or you know perceiving in our love life whatever disharmony is coming in it's time to look at it it's time to look at why we're feeling um off kilter even if i don't think that we should be in a lot of ways i think that th things um i think this is just less traditional and you guys have to let that go and if you don't want to let that go then this relationship isn't working out for you but um if you try to fight these uranus and taurus changes that are changing us at these base levels at those societal expectation levels then you're not going to do well the next seven years. And it's time to let those implications go. It's time to let what was expected, what was ingrained, what was solid, stable, secure for many, many years go. It's time to let that go. Belief systems, really. Um, and even our own relationship with love and what we expect from it. It's like, okay, I think a lot of it has to do with separating yourself from like how your parents approached it and what they told you or expected of you. It's, I don't know why I'm getting that. We'll see what Romance Angel card is coming up, but that's just what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is that healing family issues card. So I guess I for me, it kind of goes deeper. These are things that we've implied within ourselves here. Love and Romance Angels. What do you have to say for Libra for August 1st through 15th? It's coming out here. What's coming out here? Can we get one? These cards are dancing around for you. <laughs> Free 
for yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control. So if you feel confined within a relationship, especially guys, it's time to let go. It's time to move out. It's time to free yourself here. Um, whenever I see this card, I mean, I have to say that this reminds me of that Leo new moon energy when it's square, you know, Venus and Leo square Uranus and Taurus, because there is a need for new adve energy, adventure, excitement in our love life. And again, if we've been feeling smothered, confined, we're um, in a relationship here, um, we're going to probably be stirring up drama for freedom. So it's time to seek out some freedom. Or again, if you're wanting to bring experimentation, new energy into your relationship, adventurous energy, experimentation, um, it's time to have those conversations. Free yourself of the mental burden that you've locked yourself within here and start thinking outside the box. Start feeling outside the box. Start feeling start feeling more open and new and adventurous in terms of love start like let go of those four pentacles god um give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so yeah maybe you guys are like so like okay you're not gonna give me that ring you don't believe in marriage you don't believe in having kids we're done we're out we're bye and it's like libra listen like maybe you should just give it a chance though <laughs> like don't be so aggressively like know about this give something a chance before you walk away give the relationship a chance to shine as something different than what you could have expected sometimes things come in and we don't expect them that way i never would have been in the relationship i'm in now if i had listened to my energy about this where you know i had just gotten out of a relationship and i was so over it i was so over love I was like, you know, I just don't think I'm meant to be with anybody. And I think I want to be alone forever. And I'm fine with that. I love being alone. <laughs> and if I had said no at that moment, I wouldn't have been in like the best relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> um, I didn't, if I hadn't opened myself up to change, transformation to, to this energy, then I never would be as happy as I am now or where I am now, which is, I mean, I see love and relationships in a whole, totally different way. And um, it doesn't have to mean ring on the finger, marriage bells, having a kid at, before age three. It doesn't have to be that. Everybody has their own story. Everybody has their own connection. And you have to figure out what works for you and not what works for society. It's not, they don't match up. <laughs> okay. Apple, wow, this is perfect for you guys. Risk and reward. I love this card. This is perfect. Okay. So, um, oh, I always start this in the wrong place. Apples have been an iconic part of the mythos from ancient times to modern. The story of the poison apple in Snow White to the Roman, God, the Roman goddess Pomona's magical apple tree to the Christian's tempting fruit in the Garden of Eden. Should you receive this apple in your reading, it's time to look at how risk plays out in your life. Are you hedging your bets and not trying anything new? Do you want to change but are not willing to change anything? Are you willing to risk to get a greater reward? Or alternatively, are you risking too much too often? Time to take some risks here. Time to allow yourself to take risks. And I'm saying allow yourself to take risks. I don't think you guys have been taking risks. And that's really what I feel here. Um, so stop being like this. Start being like this, okay? I mean, like, we see it reverse both times. It's time to stop. It's time to stop relying on what has been secure, safe, and stable this whole time and to start stepping out of that. This is what you're being asked to do this season, and I know it's uncomfortable. But you know what? You're not a fixed sign. You're immutable, and you're going to, I'm sorry, you're a cardinal, and you're going to be fine you'll be okay um at least you're not a fixed sign being asked to change because it sucks being a fixed sign and having the universe be like change is coming in and you have to deal with it um it's much worse so you know lean into your mutable no sorry i keep saying mutable lean into your cardinal energy lean into the ability that you guys can change and that this isn't as hard as it seems um all right, Libras, those are your messages for August 1st through 15th. I hope that um, you enjoyed the reading. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus um, for August 1st through 15th. Check out your Leo, New Moon reading. I will be going away, guys, from August 8th through 15th. I will not be doing any readings during that time. So if you want to book a private reading, I'm only going to be doing them for the next couple days. Email me right away. Do not send payment until I say that I have room, okay? I only have a couple spots left. Um, so... Thank you guys again so much. If you want to get 10, uh, sorry, 20% off of your Teespring order, use the code Leo Season, L E O S Z N. If you're a Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising, you can get $10 off of any um, 30 minute or longer reading for the duration of Leo Season. Um, again, all that information is below this video in my description box. Um, 
and I'll see you guys when I get back from Scotland. Hopefully I'll be making a couple little videos while I'm there and be putting them up. Um, you can check out my Instagram for daily readings. I've been trying to keep up with them, but it's been a busy few days. Um, have a great uh, first half of August, guys. Thank you. Namaste.